last but definitely not the least, um, our black line. So this is 100% Shiraz um, coming from three different vineyard sites. So maybe just let me explain to you a little bit where the wine actually originated from and where it was born from. So after a few years of producing the book 17, the extreme care that we took in the vineyard and that little bit of extra steps that we took in the winemaking process proved to be so unbelievably effective in crafting world-class wines that we really said that we want to experiment a little bit more with that concept and that techniques. And what better way than to experiment on Shiraz? It's a variety that we all love um, and this was a great avenue for us to explore that in. So we don't have any, any Shiraz planted under the Tour and Vineyards itself. And this again, because we're working with a single variety, gave us the opportunity to go and diversify a little bit and go and find that really special spots all over the Western Cape where we can vinify the scrapes um, from. So what we did is we initially just took um, the Western Cape, said, okay, this is the soils that we want to use, and this is the, the end product that we want to get from each of the different areas. So essentially, you're starting to put that puzzle together with all the little complex components to get to the final product. So we ended up finding a really special spot in the Swartland on old decomposed granite, old vines, um, upwards of 35 years old. Um, it's vines that gives you a really complex, a very powerful Shiraz berry. So um, just to give you a little bit of context, a Shiraz berry is normally about the size of that top part of my, my little index finger. Um, when you go to the Shiraz in the swipe plant, they're extremely tiny. They're about the size of my fingernail. So that can give you a little bit of context. Very powerful. Only that in a blend might be a little bit too much. So we started sitting in Stellenbosch for areas that will give us a little bit more finesse and another portion that will give us a little bit more um, of a wine that will just bring everything together. The area that will bring us the finesse is where we are situated. Um, so it's actually a neighboring farm where we get grapes from. That gives you grapes not as powerful, but extremely elegant. Um, and then we've got a wine that we get from the Alderberg on this really deep, iron-rich coffee stone soils that will just bring everything together, the finesse and the power. Um, that's also, maybe following on that, that, where the name comes from, the black lion signifies um, the power, not only the power of the wine, but also the power of Africa, of our ancient soils. And a further ode to that is 40% of the wine comes from a winemaking region called the Swart Land, and Swart, directly translated into English from Afrikaans, means black. So everything back into into that. So you'll see on the packaging, um, similar to what you would have found on the book 17, we only make about 1,200 to 1,400 bottles each year. Each bottle comes individually numbered, also on top of the box, and. These wines are really wines that we want to showcase over the next 25 upwards of 40 years. So it's wines that are made to actually age and to increase with quality and perceived quality in terms of flavor profile over that period. It's one of those wines that if you go through the effort of aging it over the next few decades, we wanted to reward you linearly for the time spent um, selling it. Thanks so much for spending this time with me, um, allowing me a little bit of time to show you all the insights into what goes into making our wines. I um, hope to see you very soon at the Tour and Private Cellar for a private tasting.